what's up you guys it's the and welcome back to my channel so i wanted to talk to you guys today about two things that i think you should know and remember as a pa student going into pa school and as a pac coming out of pa school so two different parts of the spectrum but very important for both parts of the spectrum so if you are our on any part of that spectrum, even like pre-PA, about to become a PA, or thinking of becoming a PA, um, and a PA student about to get out of PA school and get that C, this video is for you. What's up you guys, it's Adana. Like I said, welcome back to my channel. So I'm down here in Tennessee having a good time at AAPA, uh, just connecting and reconnecting with PA students and PACs, um, and even pre-PAs. And as I've been having some conversations with the various different spectrum of the PA path, uh, some things have kind of come to light to me. And I mean, I think I've been having this conversation with myself for the past four years as well. I actually, maybe even longer, longer, six years, right? I, I think I've been out of PA school like from start to finish for like six years now, which is crazy to believe because I'm almost in my fourth year of practicing. But man wow anyways i digress okay so from those conversations uh i've had lots of time to think about this and even with some of my colleagues it's the the, the question and the doubt that you still have for yourself um as a not new grad pa but still as a new toddler pa it's real guys it it is real this whole like imposter syndrome, like you don't belong or you don't deserve this or you know, you might as well just quit or give up. It's real. And I really wanted to kind of touch on that and talk to you guys about that because seeing this sea of PAs um, is actually pretty inspiring. And I also really kind of wanted to talk to people that look a little bit more like me, have a little bit more melanin in their skin tone, because I think for us, this, this idea of not belonging or not deserving or not being worthy of is even stronger. And so if you are a pre-PA student and you are trying to get into PA school, which most of my audience is, right? You guys are trying to get into PA school to become PACs. Um, don't give up. That is like the one thing that you could do that will definitely guarantee that you will never become a PA. Um, and that's if you give up. And I know that these thoughts may be swirling in your head like, man, this is difficult. It's so hard. I, I, I'm too X, Y, Z to complete this or to actually get into PA school. Um, you know, this is, this is not for me anymore. I'm not worthy for the, of this anymore. That is like those negative thoughts need to go away because honestly, like I've said so many times before, although the journey may be like rough and hard and long fought, fought and, and just kind of has winds and turns and bends, it is so worth it in the end. The path is not always easy to becoming a PA, but in the end, it is so worth it. And it's such a blessing and it's so rewarding. And so definitely stick with it. As you are a PA student and you're in like your first semester of PA school, or you're just about to start your first semester of PA school, or even in your like, first semester of clinicals guys you are you're here right you got in you did it praise the lord you're on your way to becoming a pa um and although these tests may be difficult or you may have an attending that is pimping you like a preceptor that's pimping you and you you feel like man i don't know anything like what did i learn in pa school because you will have those thoughts understand that it just you just take this as an opportunity to figure out that deficit or realize that deficit and then go and study don't stop there don't dwell in that place of feeling um incompetent you know take that and allow it to motivate you to learn more and do more and be better for the next time because there will be a next time and as a pa student that is recently graduated or a new grad pac that has just found your job trust me i still feel like this on days where i'm like man they are allowing me to take care of somebody's loved one like what the freak are they thinking you know it's like man i am like 
I still have so much to learn, but honestly, that is everybody in the medical field they're still learning um they may be on a different uh i guess trajectory or a higher plane than you in terms of their learning but they're still learning things each and every day so don't allow those feelings of doubt to bring you down don't allow those feelings of man i don't know anything like I really I took the boards I passed I went through two and a half years of PA school and I still am getting stumped on various different disease processes or you know how they may present or what is going on like I was way off with this particular diagnosis you know those may be some of the questions that you have in your mind that you're the negative self-talk that you're questioning yourself about but don't dwell in that don't do it okay trust me you guys as you continue to push through you will be fine okay and you will make it and you will be bomb pas and if you get into a specialty that just doesn't speak to you anymore or you know you just feel like no this is definitely not for me i don't know this i don't know that it's not fun i don't i'm not happy coming to work you can always switch that's the beauty of being a PA, okay? So um, just a little bit of morning motivation for you guys um, as I've been kind of mingling and mixing with different PAs on their different PA journeys. And I, I hope it is beneficial to you. I hope that you all really take this um, kind of to heart and understand like the one thing that you really need to remember as a pre-PA, PA student, PAC, like newly grad PA and seasoned PA is that you belong, you deserve this, you are worthy of it, um, and it's yours for the taking, okay? All right, that's it. If you guys have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Atlanta PA and on Instagram at Get That City University where we help you not only get into, but through PA school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.